Hi, this is Russ McClellan, operating partner with Keller Williams Realty and the host of this show, Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and Friends. I want to take just a minute to say a heartfelt thank you for your support and tuning into our show each and every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. I'm very proud to share that we are celebrating our 50th radio show this month and launching into our third consecutive year of this show, all thanks to you. I also want to thank all the amazing people that were kind enough to come on the show and share their stories, thoughts, fears, wisdom, and experiences with all of us over the last two years, including my co-hosts and friends, Sharon Crockett and Michael Maher with Prime Lending. I personally have made some amazing friendships as a direct result of this radio show, and I couldn't be more grateful. As always, throw the phone in the drawer, be present, spend some time with your friends and loved ones, and make it a fantastic Saturday. Thanks again for your amazing support of Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. Hi, this is Russ McClellan, operating partner and designated broker of Keller Williams Realty, North Central Washington. Hey, thanks for tuning into our show each and every Saturday morning. I wanted to share the fact that we've been in business now about a year and a half. We have over 50 real estate agents, and there's a reason for that. Mainly, it's relationship and culture. You know, sometimes people definitely look at the money and the commissions and the splits. But at the end of the day, it's about relationships, trust, that familial connection that you have at Keller Williams. That's what we strive to do, and that's how we look at our clients. We now have offices in Brewster, Chelan, and Wenatchee. We have agents in Wenatchee and East Wenatchee and Kashmir and Leavenworth, Chelan, Brewster, really having a good time. So if you're interested in learning about why is Keller Williams Realty growing as fast as we've grown and have as many agents that are focused on their clients as we do, give us a call at 509-888-0038 or just stop by and see us at 1111 North Mission Street right here in Wenatchee. You're listening to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan. Hey, welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan. I got Amanda Light. She is an amazing coach with me. She uh, teaches me all the cool stuff I need to know on a weekly basis. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for coming this morning, calling in from Portland, Oregon. You have a great story, too. We're going to have to do another show one of these times that I keep bugging you to get on the radio, and you're so gracious to do it. And she's coaching Ashley Blakely, who's been with our company about three and a half months. Ashley uh, was a manager at a company that terminated position, didn't terminate you. They were lucky to have you, but they terminated the entire <laughs> division. And then you decided to step up and say, you know what, instead of just you know crying in that spilled milk, uh, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to get smart. And you're already saying things that are amazing, like lead with revenue. I don't want to go out there and go get in debt. I don't want to go buy leads. So many companies, that's what they do. They just, people, you know, they basically say, there's your chair, there's your phone, call your friends and family, good luck. Mm -hmm. I'll see you, I'm heading to the beach. That's what management does in a lot of cases. That's not what we do, is it? You Mm -hmm. actually signed up for a program that we have that's an amazing program that gives leads out to people that qualify for those leads. And how many leads have you had from our company directly hand delivered to you in the last 90 days? I've had 150 leads. 150 leads. And I have about 20 of them at the moment where we've actually come in contact and um, hopefully we'll be doing a deal here in the future. You know, so. There's an old saying, Amanda, and you get, I'm sure you've heard it, and Ashley, in baseball, I sent you this text the other yeah, night. You, you know. <laughs> I said, you know, if you bat 200, I don't know if you're baseball fans, but if you bat 200, that means you've got a base hit two out of 10 times. If you do that in the major league, you're called unemployed. However, if you bat 300, if you hit three out of 10 in your career in major league baseball, you're now in the Hall of Fame. So the difference between 200 and 300 doesn't seem like much. Real mm-hmm. estate's very similar. You know, you guys were talking about a 12% conversion rate as a company. If I can generate 100 leads, hand them to people like you, Ashley, and we see a 7%, 7 out of 100 that you close, we double down on that and provide more capital, and, and we're going to get busy with that. So to me, it's, it's funny to watch you because you're so optimistic that you're, you could literally fail 93 out of 100 times, and you'd be like, yeah, baby, because you're making <laughs> yeah. money, right? Like mm-hmm. that's a win. That's 7% conversion. And, and sometimes people get really discouraged, and they don't realize that it's, you know, it's quality through quantity. you got to mm-hmm. do the work, you know, and you got to learn those scripts because you're there to help people, and saying the right things in the right order is what it's all about. 
All right, so for you guys in your third and final segment of your impromptu, spontaneity-driven <laughs> question-and-answer coaching session, what, we, what, what would you do next, Amanda, in an, in an average scenario? I know this is way, way different than because you dive really into detail, but right now, what are some of the other things that you could share from your experience? I mean, you started 18 years old, Amanda, uh, about persistence and drive and not being discouraged. The other day we were talking about the thrill of victory with Ashley and, and the agony of defeat because you, it's an emotional roller coaster in the beginning. So how would you say to handle that to someone? Yeah, I would say keep your goals in front of you. You know, um, like, for example, we just talked about getting, building her database system to get her 30 transactions a year to be able to help 30 families a year that, that are coming from people that she that already know her, like her, and trust her. So if we added that to the seven deals, you've been there 90 days, right? Mm -hmm. So if we did the conversion that Russ just talked about and you did seven deals a quarter, now that's 28 more deals a year. So 30 plus 28, look at that. That's 58. It's not bad. Pretty you, close. Don't have to, you don't have to win them all. <laughs> look how close you are to 60. And you're just 90 days in. So anyway, um, I just I think keeping your goals in front of you, we have something, a system that I'm going to teach you really quick, called GPS. And it stands for Goal, Priorities, and Strategies. And so let's say your goal is the 540000 a year, the 60 transactions, okay, the 60, helping 60 families. And then your priorities would become perhaps those three lead generation sources that I was just talking about. So priority one would be, um, and if you, we, we typically say a structure of one goal, three priorities, five strategies is a great way to start. Sometimes the numbers don't exactly work out like that. Um, but if we just focus on a one, a three, and a five, so if we did one goal, the 60 transactions, three priorities, one priority being um, making sure that we're the expert in your sphere so that we get the 30 transactions out of your sphere. Maybe another one is, uh, another priority is working these think leads, right, and getting the kind of conversion that Russ is talking about so that we get 28 from that. Mm -hmm. And then we would need a third source. Um, and then, you know, maybe you and I could work offline to come up with your third source. Maybe that is a virtual open house strategy, um, or there's many other ways. In fact, in the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, there is um, a whole page uh, dedicated to uh, sources of business from the uh, agents that are out there making a million dollars a year. So that might be something to go back and look at and say, okay, which of these fits my style the most that I want to lean into? And then we can go find you uh, a group of, like we were talking about earlier, the network of people that are really experts at that, that are doing a ton of business from that lead generation source. So once you get three priorities or your three sources, then it's a matter of working with a coach or with Russ or um, uh, Taylor in the Market Center to come through and come up with five strategies that would make sure that you capitalize on that priority. So you have your one goal, your three priorities, and then the five strategies. And when you get that focus down for, and we usually do this every year, we do a, a plan for a year. You get that, you get that focus down on your plan. Now every single week you can come to a call like this with a coach or go into a meeting with Russ and you can say, based on the strategic layout for my business, my GPS, this is what I'm, I have to do this week to be on track. And that'll really guide your conversations, and it'll keep you winning the day. If you win the day, you can win the week. And if you win the week, you can win the month. And if you win the month, you can win the quarter, you can win the year, you can win your five-year plan. Does that make sense? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, that's good stuff. So I think if you keep it, keep it, you know, spend a little bit of time getting your goals, priorities, and strategies laid out. Keep that in front of you and let that be your guide. Look at that and then say, okay, this is what I'm up to this week. And go win the week. Go win the day. There's a, there's a very famous, I don't know what Diana Kokoska is. She's just very famous in Keller Williams. <laughs> She's a legend. She's a legend. She, she, uh, she says something that's kind of interesting that helps you keep on track. When one of the things that a lot of people uh, do is they just don't know what to do because they haven't really thought about what to do. So they wake up in their day and they start kind of, they go get their coffee and then they kind of BS about this and they kind of go outside and then they kind of, okay, well, I better get dressed. <laughs> and then they kind of, you know, okay, I guess I, get, I go to work and then they sit and then they go, what, what do I do? Well, Diana Kukoska says, if it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. 
And that, that's an important component. So that night before, even if it's setting yourself up, like you, you mentioned earlier, eating right, staying healthy, that's all big time stuff. Because in real estate, it can grab you and hold mm-hmm. you and you can go down the black abyss. And the next thing you know, you're working 80 hours a week, making no money, spinning around, and then you're burned out. In mm-hmm. fact, that's where most people end up in 18 months. That's why I told you I might not be mm-hmm. good for real estate because yeah. I will do that to myself. <laughs> right. Well, you know what we're going to do? What we're doing is we're giving you this set of circumstances in which that doesn't happen because mm-hmm. you have a calendar and you uh, you stay simple. I think Steve Jobs is the guy that, you know, Steve Jobs founded Apple. You know, he uh, invented a few cool things, right? Yeah, like kind he had of a big pretty deal. Good, pretty good big deal, yeah. But I think it was him that said, you know, the thing he was most proud of is the things he said no to. And I think that's fascinating because Mm -hmm. sometimes uh, the recipe to do all things for all people is a recipe to go out of business, right? Because what you want to do instead of, you know, one of my bad habits is, you know, and and I get in trouble a lot by my coach and by (laughs) other people in my management team because I've given them permission to, you know, duct tape my mouth and make sure I stay on track. But I squirrel, you know, I'm a squirrel guy. Like, ooh, uh, yeah, I want to do that. I want to do that. (laughs) I want to do that. Uh, Yeah, my brain just like, ah, I like it. I want to add this and do that. And so, you know, and then I find myself spinning out of control. And I've hit a brick wall doing 800 miles an hour before, you know, in real estate back in the recession. Boom. I wasn't really working in. I was working in my business, not really on my business, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes what we're doing is we're creating this uh, accountability plan for ourselves. So when you, you know everything in the morning when you wake up, if you're going to work out, your your stuff's laid out. A lot of people don't do that. Just lay your clothes out. Mm-hmm. Just say, I'm, I'm going to prepare now. And then, boom, at, at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock, whenever you start your day, this is what I'm going to lead you in for these three hours. And that means bunker build. That means surround yourself with, you know, the cookies and the cake. I mean, no, the <laughs> Nutri-Grain bars and the, whatever the heck people eat, you know, yeah. something that's good for you, and the water. And so you can literally just make those calls, call your friends and family, you know, start letting people know. One of the things that cracks me up about real estate is uh, there are, people are afraid to fail, but they're also afraid to succeed. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes what they do is they'll they'll say, well, uh, I could call that guy, but what if he says yes? Hmm, what do I do? Then well, you call Taylor and Russ like I do and <laughs> pester them at least once a day. And that's why you're going to make a lot of money, right? Because you're leaning in. That's called leverage. In that millionaire real estate book, there's three things, leads, listings, and leverage. Mm-hmm. Leverage is to get to 60 uh, you know, sales a year. Maybe you have somebody putting up your lock boxes. You know, maybe you don't run around with signs in your car. Maybe you have mm-hmm. somebody putting up your signs because your time is going to become very, very valuable. And then every day you're going to do what you got to do. And there's nothing that says you can't be done on that day when you're done and go to the park and run with your dog and yeah. have fun with your husband and go do your, your, your gig and live a life that you deserve. Mm-hmm. You know, man, we're coming into the end of this segment. I really appreciate you calling in. Um, I know you got a lot going on. I know you have clients all over the world. You're an incredible asset to Keller Williams. I appreciate you. I'm grateful to you. So uh, thanks again. Hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you later. All right. I'm gonna... Yeah. Thanks, Amanda. This has been great. Yeah. Thank you, Ashley. So nice to meet you. Yeah. You too. Yeah. So you guys, this was a real, this was just a real impromptu coaching session. And you can imagine if we actually had some time and everybody actually knew it was going to happen <laughs> besides, you know, half hour before it started. But, you know, sometimes in life you got to go for it, right? I mean, at the end of the day, talk is cheap. Sometimes you just got to roll yourself up and not be afraid to fail because more people have you know, not hit their dreams because of fear than anything else. Failure is not the reason people don't hit their dreams. It's fear of starting. So give us a call anytime. We're going to wrap this segment up. we got one more with Prime Lending and Sharon Crockett coming up. Thanks for tuning in. Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan this Saturday morning in June. Home Sweet Home. Thanks, Keller Williams. I love my dream home.